Hello, visuals. Welcome back to the last Visual Guy podcast of 2018. 2018. And uh, we're going to end it extremely fucking weird here. I'm just going to name off some of these. podcast weird, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, words. Yeah. You go from talking about, did you enjoy Pokemon? To um, Paul McCartney is not dead. Oh, no, Paul McCartney <laughs> is dead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to ramble on. I'm, I, I just typed in, because I want to get more conspiracy theories involved, because I don't I, I don't believe in near enough all of them. I just find them funny, because they're so fucking ridiculous. And if you've watched Saturday's news, oh, 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 oh. there is a weird one. For you conspiracy theorists out there. You conspiracy nuts. Yes. So sit down, smoke your um, herb without saying that without saying a proper way and um, have your mind blown. Yeah. I'll just stick with my JPS. Uh, I'll just stick to a cup of tea. Right, yes. Oh, you finished? Yeah. You should have topped up. You should have topped up. Uh, okay, the first one is your friend. I won't say his name, but he used to work with us. Lives, um, begins with an M. Oh, all right. Yeah, uh, he when he used to work with us, he really believed in this, and this was chemtrails, uh, the whole thing of planes. Oh, my fucking cousin was into all these chemtrails. She was mad about them. Yeah, the the premise of it is basically the planes fly along and they spray crap chemicals the into the air for us people to go bananas. But if you watch Joe Rogan questions everything, he kind of disproved it. I've never believed in it. It's just fucking, what is it, water vapour. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, water it's ridiculous. So I'm happy to jump straight off that one. Like I my cousin was mad into it. Yeah. She, she's just, every time she's seen a plane, she's... Got trails. Yeah, and she was obsessed with weird sky. What is it uh, Alex Jones said? They're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> turning the frog. I, I think it was related. He got into trouble anyway, didn't even talk about... Oh, Joe Rogan talked about it. Alex Jones is just fucking mental. Uh, this is a cool one though because this is one that I've visited to loads. If you, sh- I should take you down to my neck of the woods because you're enjoying this because this is not that far from my house, my old house. Aliens helped build Stonehenge. Uh, Stonehenge is a really cool place. It's, it happens to be in Four, the Dark World as well. Uh, you know what Stonehenge is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, there is a weird vibe. The uh, is it the Druids? When there's a, a crazy moon, I have witnessed pe- weird fuckers. Go to it and naman and Um There's uh, it's if there are some crazy shenanigans. There's a, a blood moon, first blood of the year, some shit like that. It's crazy. Isn't the blood moon something to do with witches? Stuff? Ah, but mate, it's all fucking turn of the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did a crazy. <laughs> That, dying. that wasn't uh, that wasn't spew though. That was just coffee that entered my mouth. But because I needed to laugh, it comes straight back out. So we're all right. Uh, uh, you're just uh, clattering everywhere. I uh, I spat coffee out of my mouth because the term turning the frogs gay it was quite funny. It's such a stupid. Stuff. Don't worry, it wasn't spew. It was a one of one of yeah. the mm, one of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. turn of the frogs gay. <laughs> Where's the tea towel? On there. Ah, oh, yes! Stonehenge, whilst I clean up my mess. Isn't, isn't it meant to be like... Oh. I don't know. It's uh, weird pillars, not quite sure how they got there. Well, that's what I mean, no one actually knows anything about them or how long they've been there, yeah. how they got put there. Apparently aliens built them. Uh, they may line up with some kind of weird stars. How were the stones, some weighing 50 tons, transported and arranged to where they sit today without basic transportation technology such as wheels? Oh, crazy tech that. Um, how, how do they get there? Some of them weigh 50 tons. Um, Danikin's Semiel book, Chariots of the Gods, uh, which makes an argument that there may be ancient mega structures such as Stonehenge, the Egyptian pyramids, and the Mwai heads of Easter Island. I love them. Dum dum wong gum gum. Yeah. Um, basically, aliens put them there as markers um, to just to mark out different locations and spots. But I will it's point the, out... It's the same with the pyramids, though, is it? Even though we know it was the Egyptians that built the pyramids. We all know that's because there's a Cybertron technology under there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and, and they are, like, 100% lined up. Like, correctly. If you look, the, if you look at it from, like, stars, they are point... With point, Orion's belt. From point on point. And it's the same... Well, 
even though the Egyptians built it with a lot of man slaves, there was <laughs> aliens involved, apparently. Uh, it's, it's easy to say there's aliens you involved. Seen, uh, alien vs Predator, you'll understand. AVP! Yeah. Or Transformers, I'm or going with Transformers. Uh, yeah, I will point out that next to Stonehenge there's a lot of cows. Cows! There's just a lot of cow fields. Right, uh, cows. Reptilian elite. The reptilian hypothesis is a conspiracy theory which advances the argument of reptilian humanoids. Basically, do reptiles live among us under the skins of our leaders, our presidents, our politicians? Personally, I go South Park to believe in crab people. Crab people start a gay TV show to turn the men slightly gay. <laughs> So, I believe in that. But the cat. So the. <coughs> it's okay. Well then. <laughs> Chris is stumped. <laughs> Chris is confused. Lizard people are walking amongst us. Hey, hey! You gotta call them reptilians. Reptilian life. Reptilian people are walking amongst us. Yeah, that apparently. Yeah. That's, just, that's just like aliens are walking amongst us. Yeah. Aliens could form into humans and walk amongst us. This suggests uh, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton are part of the Anu, uh, An- A-N-U-N-N-A-K-I, Anuke race who came to Earth for mo- Motaminic gold. That basically these reptiles come to Earth and hid as George W. Bush to get gold. Uh, critics accused um, of anti-Semitism, uh, al- alleging that he talks to reptiles with codes off for Jews. So now it's getting about Jews. I have yeah. no idea whether... Yeah, but I think that's a bullshit one. These conspiracies are quite funny. <laughs> this next one, Prince Charles is a vampire. Why just Prince well, Charles? Yeah. Um, where have they, where have they got that conclusion from? Listen to this first line. Like all good conspiracy theories, this one has some basis in fact. Oh, God. Oh, my. According to uh, genealogy records, Prince Charles is believed to be a descendant from Vlad the Impaler, the inspiration for Dracula, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Uh, The heir to the throne uh, appeared to be in a promotional video for Romanian National Tourist Office joking, Transylvania is in my blood. So because he joked about this crazy ad saying Transylvania is in my blood, people are calling him the Prince of Transylvania and stuff. And is he... Uh... But isn't his father from that neck of the woods? I don't know. They're all the royal family, <laughs> years ago, they were all interbred. Oh, yeah, but isn't... Uh, isn't, isn't whatchamacallum, uh, whatever he's called, uh, isn't he Austrian or something from that fucking neck oh, of the woods? There's loads of them, like, German and stuff. So, I mean, so obviously he'll have Transylvanian blood in him. I've, I've seen him in, in the daylight. Yeah. This next one is another fun one. What? Beyonce yeah. is a clone. Ugh. I love Queen Bee. She's she honestly got to sit. Nah, I'll put a ring on it and all that nah. shit, mate. See when it comes on. Oh, why, is, why is she a clone anyway? Um The theory that Paul McCartney was killed, I don't know what I said about Paul McCartney, uh, in a car accident, the highest of the Beatles fame and replaced by a lookalike. Well it suggests the same thing Beyonce Well they've said the same about yeah, Harry Levine as well. Apparently because Beyonce's age she's claimed at her age, but something else is stated is at a different age, so that the, the two yeah. the clones got it wrong. That's basically what it's saying. But it's the same about Avril Levine, apparently she's meant to have died in two thousand and four and this lookalike person who who did meet her once or twice is now meant to be Avril Lavigne and everything else. Well, what is it when Avril a celebrity dies? dies? Yeah, this next one, Meghan Markle. Who the fuck is Meghan Markle? She's married to Prince William. Oh, oh, she's a robot. I showed you that video, didn't I? Which yeah. I think that was just a computer. That, uh, I, yeah, that was bitch. disproven. Yeah, so ignore that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, Jesus mar- ma- uh, married uh, Mary Magdalene. He was apparently supposed to be a prostitute, and if you look at the, you seen Da Vinci's going down again. If you rearrange the Last Supper, she's next to him holding him. To be honest, if Jesus was married, I couldn't give two fucks. Yeah. Good for him. He was getting some, my man. Yeah. Uh, Area Fifty One. We won't talk about that because it's one of the big ones. You don't need to mass shootings are staged by the government. That's just a really shit one. I don't know what, yeah, why, why is, because why is um, it's talk about like school shootings and stuff. Apparently, they're all what are we on. Apparently they're all just planned by the government to cause uh, fear That's and stuff. That's a bit of a shit conspiracy theory though because they're not guaranteed they're not and it's like... And people have fucking died so why yeah. the fuck would you... Same with this, the Holocaust did not happen. I'm not fucking... Yeah, that one can uh, fuck off. Here's a fun one we've kind of talked about but we'll just quickly glance over it. Moon landings. I personally believe we landed on the moon. I don't know. And Chris's, I don't know. Okay. Hey, talk about it if you want, mate. We've got a couple minutes. Like I said, we've talked about it. <laughs> 
there's things to say there is, the things to say there isn't. Diddy, diddy, no one really knows apart from NASA. Obviously, NASA's not going to really reveal out other. So. Oh, it's, it's stupid. Uh, all right, we'll end it on this one called the Time Cube. The Time Cube is a pseudo scientific theory of time and space developed by Gene Ray, a former electrician. He insisted that academics around the world were purposefully uh, concealing the fact that four simulation days occurred during a single rotation of the Earth. So he's stating that four days. Uh, for how long it takes for the Earth to go full 360. Four of them days are simulated. Ray gave a lecture at the Massachusetts and Georgia Institutes of Technology on the matter. Uh, right, okay, he's offered a thousand dollar reward for anyone who could successfully disprove his theory. Is that it, a grand? Well, he's dead now. Well, we can't have money, don't we? But so, he, yeah, he's arguing. In theory, for the Earth to rotate. 360 degrees, or 360, yeah, do it takes so. 23 hours and 58 or 57 minutes. It doesn't actually take the full 24 hours. So, at some point, so, there will be an extra day in lieu. That's what the whole point of day in lieu. So that doesn't make sense then. If you're saying it takes under a day for the Earth to go full <coughs> round, this bloke's saying, uh, concealing fact that four simulation days occur during a single rotation. So he's hmm. saying there's four fake days, full days, which will be like 70, uh, 100 hours. Think about it, every four years, there's an extra day in the calendar, isn't there? But uh, how can this make sense then? I don't if, know. If it takes less than a day to go right round, how's he saying there's four days within that, four simulated days? I have no idea. <laughs> it's just some warped up conspiracy guy. Yeah. He's now dead. So we can't get a thousand pounds for him. Um, what the fuck? But yeah. So it doesn't actually take a full on day for the Earth to rotate 360. A stream of consciousness with inter uh, intermit capitalised words. Oh, I don't, what the, uh, that sounds confusing. That's what I mean. You start putting fucking jangle right next to fucking. Uh, why did I say jangle? Jangle. Uh, jangle. Put a bunch of jargon next to each other and it makes weird fucking. Jargon. Uh, fuck it, right. I want me thousand pound people noise. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't fully understand that. Okay, cool, whatever. To end the video then, let's just, um, let's see if we can get any of our own conspiracy uh, theories okay. going. Make up one right now. Um, I'm a robot. Hey! <laughs> Hashtag Chris is a robot. Right, okay. So if anybody notices, and we've confirmed with him, the Illuminati, Chris Christmas, oh my god. Uh, if you've noticed any robotic-like antics with Chris, please let us know in the comments I don't below. Want to be a robot, really. Well, it's a conspiracy <laughs> theory, right? You've started it now. It's, it's uh, hashtag the truth. Uh, my conspiracy theory uh, that I'm going to get trending around worldwide, worldwide yeah, cool, um, would be there is a real Spider-Man. Because if you've looked right, if you look in the past, there's been people on tall buildings before, and I've seen people swing on stuff. Technically, yes, but technically, no. Oh, mate, mate, right. <laughs> have you have you ever, right? It's just ever. people who have very good gripping powers who can grip up buildings. But how do you shit. know there's an unsung... Can you confirm to me that there is somebody in this world right now? No. Ah, ah, conspiracy. Spider-Man's <laughs> real. You heard it here first. Uh, and, to, and to go off that, the same theme, I'm going to suggest that I am Batman. I am Batman. Have you ever seen Batman and me in the same room? <laughs> Have you? Yes. You've seen me and Batman stood next to me? No, you haven't. No, you have not. So there you are. Uh, are spider people real? We <coughs> call them spider people. I feel like Spider-Man's going to get changed Yeah, Spider-Man will get changed uh, So we'll say spider people and I am bat person. <laughs> yeah, that'll get changed. And Wonder Woman will get changed to Wonder Person. Ah, oh, she probably won't though. Wonder Girl will get changed. Wonder Girl. Wonder Super Girl. Girl. Super Girl. Super Girl. Well, there's Wonder Girl and Super Girl. Um, it's not gonna Wonder Woman. Wonder Girl. Um, yeah, I can't imagine them attacking that. <laughs> attacking every fucking thing else. Because if that's the case, then should be random. But if that's the case, <laughs> why is it the lads that have to change and not the females? Because Chris, you don't understand me and you. Are males. Yes. We, we've got male privilege. Not necessarily. God's sakes, it's not all about you, you show me this. <laughs> no, but God. I'm just saying though, if they're crying, if they're complaining about because men having to change because like, you're a man. red man and nothing else. Because you're a man which makes you sexist, okay? 
Can't argue it. I can't. No, 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 no. You were born with a penis. I know. Yes, I was. Oh, shit. I just assumed that. Um, I was. I can guarantee you I was born well, if that, a man. If that's the I case. I was born a boy. You are sexist. It's sexist to just say that. Get out of my house. I'm not sexist. I, I know what gender I am. You're, which you're a male. I'm a male. So you're sexist. That's how it works. You're a male. I, I, I am sexist, yeah. Because I'm a male. That's how it works, apparently. you got a ding-a-ling. No matter how, ding-a-ling. Big, not matter how small and bigger you're sexist, so we're all sexists. And that's the end of that topic. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. The last <laughs> podcast. Sorry, we kind of run over there. Visual Sake for listening. Let us know your dumbest conspiracy you've ever heard because I personally do think the majority are dumb. But keep it in your gibbon, keep it down. Live back.